Now, as temperatures are starting to get warmer, we're getting flashbacks of how extremely hot last summer was. And as our kids are looking forward to spending more time outside, we want to make sure that they're doing so safely. So joining me this morning to share an outlook on our at our climate and previous weather patterns is science mom and Department of Geosciences professor at University of Arizona, Joellen Russell. Good morning, Joellen. What does science mom mean? Hey, Haley. Oh, it, we are a nonpartisan group of moms who are also climate scientists. We join okay. forces to raise awareness of the threats posed by climate change and provide parents with the tools to take action. Okay, so uh, what are you seeing are the big threats with climate change and our children? Well, this, this Earth Day, we're releasing two new ads raising awareness of how climate change is worsening extreme weather events like fires, heat waves, and floods, things that you in Texas and yeah. us in Arizona are really familiar with these days. Extreme weather is also destroying a lot of our natural beauty, including our favorite campgrounds uh, and national parks, causing our kids to lose out on some of those meaningful outdoor memories that we, we got, but they may not. Do you know how that could potentially hurt their development? I mean, I'm, I'm specifically thinking too, like the wildfires that happened in the Panhandle. I mean, that area is just gone now. I mean, absolutely. By not the Smoky having... Hills Creek wildfire reached over a million acres of land in Texas. You know, it's the largest wildfire in state history, inflicting intense damage on Texas ag industry. Um, and also it's terrible, I'll just say, for uh, little kids' lungs. It has a okay. lot of uh, mm -hmm. very toxic, bad chemicals like benzene and other things that are uh, really bad for their lung development. It is uh, mm -hmm. something that we as climate scientists are, are really aware of. We're one of our moms is a wildfire expert. And uh, so we pay a lot of attention to how much more frequently and how much larger and, and how much earlier in the season and later in the season um, these wildfires are occurring. It's not just wildfires, though. It's also the big heat waves. Uh, we had over 500 deaths in Phoenix this last summer um, due to heat. It's a big deal. It's happening now. And uh, we need to get on it to try and prevent some of uh, the potential damage and, you know, to help make sure our kids have those happy summers that we all remember. Yeah. Yeah, well, the reason that the, the heat this coming summer scares me so much is actually, ironically, because of a winter we had a few years ago in 2021, the freeze that took out the power here in Texas. And, uh, you know, I mean, I had two babies at home at the time, and it was honestly quite terrifying. It's so terrifying. Yeah. It is. So uh, if that also, happened during the um, summer, we... If the air conditioning goes out during a heat yep. wave, uh, and you have an infinite home, um, you're, uh, you may end up moving into a hotel or something something because the kid can struggle. Uh, one of my best friends had this happen in Seattle when they had that monstrous heat wave. It's it's a big deal. And the, the really cold winter storm in 2021 that wiped out all the power in Texas, mm -hmm. um, that uh, is also, we think, and has been reported uh, by other scientists as as uh, being partly due to climate change because it's not only warming our lower atmosphere, it's cooling our upper atmosphere. So when it broke out like that, it just, it, it normally doesn't get that far south, yeah. but it did that year. And Extreme weather is a feature of climate change, and we're uh, looking uh, to make sure that everybody knows what they can do about it and help protect our kids' health and happiness. Yeah, well, exactly. Tell me, what can we do about it? Well, our favorite three are super easy. Swap, share, speak up. Whenever you can, if you're swapping away from carbon polluting, because we know that that carbon dioxide is what's making that lower atmosphere warmer and that upper atmosphere colder, which that extreme weather is being driven by this difference. So when you can, swap away from carbon polluting towards non-carbon polluting power. Here in Arizona, that's uh, nuclear power, geothermal, uh, wind, solar, you name it, we've got it. Uh, but uh, also, when you can, share what you're doing. If you've got a cistern set up to water your, water your plants, if you've got uh, fantastic new solar panels, if you put in a heat pump, which is a great way to save money, and uh, you know, I love it because it both reduces your heating bill in the winter and and your cooling bill in the summer. Hubby and I are looking at doing that ourselves this summer. I'm so excited. <laughs> but 
swap share and then speak up when you can speak up to the town council to your pta etc we're getting new uh, uh non uh non um we're getting new electric school buses here in the tucson unified school district i hope that's happening in houston this is there are a lot of opportunities for us to do really great things, both for our little kids' lungs and for our uh, national parks and our beautiful summer days that are hopefully right yeah. around the corner. Joelle and I, I'm going to have to let you go really quickly, but you know, what would summers look like if we didn't take action? Well, the worst part is for you and me uh, with little kids is cabin fever season just keeps getting longer. The number of 100 degree days where you just don't feel comfortable throwing your kids outside to play. Uh, it will just so by the end of the century, we're expecting 30 to 50 more days. It is really, really bad. So uh, okay. come on, everybody. We can do it. <laughs> Joelle and Russell, thank you so much for your time this morning. Really great information. We appreciate having you. Nice to see you. Thanks, Kaylee. Bye-bye.